So for determining whether the slope is positive, negative, or zero undefined, I like to use Mr. Slope Man, so I'm gonna draw him here. So remember you read slope from left to right, so slopes that go up like that, Mr. Slope Man's left eye are positive, and slopes that go down, slanting like that, are negative. And remember, slopes that go vertically are undefined, so look at Mr. Slope Man's U nose, and slopes that go horizontally are zero. So looking at number one, I read it from left to right, and I know that it looks like Mr. Slope Man's left eye, so I know that this one has a positive slope. Looking at the next one, I'm looking at it from left to right, and I notice that it has a negative slope. And number three is another positive slope. Okay. Okay, so looking at number four, we need to determine two exact points on this line. So I'm going to pick this point right here. I'm going to try to make that look a little prettier. Okay, so I've picked two exact points, and now I need to count the rise over my run. So I need to find rise over run. So I need to find out up or down first. So I see that it goes one, two, three down. So three is going to be my top number. And my bottom number, it runs one, two. So three over two would be my slope on this one. Okay, so number five, we're also gonna count the rise over the run. So I've put um, exact points where two lines cross. So I'm gonna rise one, two, three. So three is the top part of my slope. And I'm going to run one, two. And then notice that I have a um, negative slope because it looks like slope man's uh, right eye. So it's actually negative three over two. And number six is slope. Um, notice that it um, goes up and down, so it's a vertical line, just like Mr. Slope Man's nose here. So this would be undefined.